SpaceX successfully launched its first female-led mission, Crew-5, to the International Space Station, ISS, Wednesday. Taking along a Russian cosmonaut who is the first from the country to board an American spacecraft amid global tensions over the war in Ukraine amid the first to take off from U.S. soil since 2002. Russia's Anna Kikina switched places with a NASA astronaut who took her seat aboard a Russian Soyuz flight to the ISS last month under a new ride-sharing deal signed by NASA and Roscosmos in July. The 215-foot-tall Falcon 9 rocket ignited its nine Merlin engines at 12.01 p.m., generating about 1.7 million pounds of thrust and shot off towards space. The rocket's upper stage delivered the Dragon capsule into a preliminary orbit and the reusable lower stage booster flew itself back to Earth to land on a drone recovery vessel. Godspeed endurance. Cheers. Anna Kikina. Left. An engineer by training. A SpaceX director on the ground congratulated the crew when the capsule successfully separated from the first stage, while October 3rd belongs to Mean Girls, October 5th will forever belong to Crew 5. Just read the instructions, floating in the Atlantic Ocean. The mission, dubbed Crew 5, is the first to have a female commander, NASA's Nicole Ornapu Mann, who is also the first indigenous woman to launch into space. Orbital laboratory some 250 miles above Earth. The pair are joined by NASA's Josh Cassida and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's JAXA, Koichi Wakata and all are set to dock on the ISS Thursday to begin a 150-day science mission aboard the will become the fifth Russian female professional cosmonaut to go into space and the first to board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Nicole Ornapu Man, right? The first indigenous woman to ever launch into space and the first female to take the commander's seat of a SpaceX Crew Dragon earlier Wednesday, the crew conducted the pre-flight steps. Specifically walking out of the hangar in their sleek, white suits to say goodbye to friends and family. Then the four spacefaring heroes were driven to the launch pad inside two white Tesla vehicles and climbed the tower to the capsule where they waited until one minute after noon. Just like previous missions, Crew 5 brought along a plush toy to determine when they hit zero gravity and chose a plush Albert Einstein that was seen floating around inside the capsule. The addition is also a nod to Einstein's theory of relativity. Woo! That was a smooth ride uphill, said Commander Mann on SpaceX's Dragon Endurance spacecraft. The mission marks the fifth full-fledged ISS crew NASA has flown aboard a SpaceX vehicle since the private rocket venture founded by Elon Musk began sending U.S. astronauts aloft in May 2020, which was nearly a decade since an American rocket launched. Kikina is the only the fifth Russian woman sent to space in a historically male-dominated cosmonaut corps. In general, for me, it doesn't matter, she said in a recent interview, shrugging off the novelty of her Roscosmos stature. But I realize the responsibility for it because I represent the people of my country. NASA Associate Administrator Kathy Luders told reporters in a recent press conference. When you each are flying others' crew members, you know that you have a huge responsibility that you're promising to the other country. At a working level, we really appreciated the constancy in the relationship, even during some really, really tough times geopolitically. Commander Mann a Marine Corps colonel and a fighter pilot who flew combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan, holds an engineering master's degree specializing in fluid mechanics. As a registered member of the Waylaki of the Round Valley Indian tribes, Mann will become the first Native American woman to fly to space.